Hi guys welcome back to my YouTube channel. In this video, I will show you how to make a power circuit using the dedicated IC IRS 2161. The circuit uses common components, I have recycled most of the components from the old PC power supply, such as transformers, power filter coils, capacitors, diode, resistor. The output of the circuit is a dual source with a voltage varying by the number of turns. The circuit has the function of soft start and automatic shutdown when overloaded. Details I will introduce to you after the sponsor's advertisement. This video is sponsored by ALLPCB, founded in Hangzhou in 2015. ALLPCB is committed to building up a super electronic collaborative manufacturing service system ECMS. As a collaborative gigafactory, its business covers PCB, SMT, electronic components, and other fields. With its self-developed online system and collaborative production facilities, ALLPCB serves enterprises related to consumer electronics, communication equipment, industrial control, ISC, electronic instruments and apparatus, intelligent hardware, Internet of Things, IoT, applications, and Industry 4.0 solutions, etc. ALLPCB always strives to create the world's best electronic manufacturing system, making a new round of electronic revolution and industrial structure transformation. This is the schematic diagram of the circuit. The circuit uses ICIR2161 to generate control pulses of two MOSFET IRF740. In the circuit I use IR2161 pin type SMD, you can use pin type DIP. IRF740 can replace with IRF840. This is the circuit drawn from the schematic, you can download it in the description. I have shared all in one attachment file. Here are the results after a week. Printed circuit from ALLPCB. The circuit is very solid, beautiful and sharp. Thank you ALLPCB for the small gift, a PCB ruler used to measure length. I have a lot of my computer's power circuits, most of them are broken. However, I can take advantage of transformers, filter coils, capacitors, resistors, fuses, transformers, to make this power supply circuit. You can use old components like me or buy new ones, note that the transformer is EE35 type and has no internal air gap. Basically, 220 volt AC voltage after being filtered through the inductor, will be passed through the rectifier diode, then loaded into a 220 microfarads or 330 microfarads 400 volt capacitor. Two 22 kilo ohm resistors in parallel to increase power. The purpose is to reduce the voltage from 220 volts to 15.6 volts to power the IR2161. Two MOSFET IRF740 will run in half bridge mode to powering the EE35 pulse transformer. A 0.22 kilo ohm resistor is connected in series with the S-pin of the MOSFET IRF740. Purpose when the current is high, the IR2161 will shut down automatically and the circuit will be protected. The output voltage after being rectified through the diode bridge will pass through the inductor and charge the capacitors. 
This is the inductor removed from the old computer power supply. Diodes used are pulse diodes such as MUR460, FR307, depending on the output voltage of 50 volts, 60 volts, 80 volts that choose the withstand voltage of the capacitor accordingly. This is the detailed dimensions of the EE35 transformer that I removed from my old computer power supply. After removing the coils, we will get one set as above. Notice, there is no gap between the transformer. I used 0.8 mm wire for primary winding. Basically, the transformer primary, we will win 36 turns of wire. The secondary coil is 8 turns of wire to get an output voltage of 35 volts. I used 1.4 mm wire for secondary winding. Each layer is well insulated from each other, avoiding short circuit, fire and explosion.
Thanks for watching my video. Don't forget to like, share, subscribe to my channel. I'll see you next time.